just give it a It'll try. Be awesome. It's I'm hungry. I want chicken. I want like a big. We should have just got like a big thing of chicken nuggets. Okay, the stream is starting. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to. Wait, wait. Oh. Wait, wait. It would be fun to have chicken nuggets and to mountain them or like nuggets. I'd even take like, French fries. French fries. All right, you're good to go. All right. Welcome to the Stay at Home Chef Live, where today we are doing a barbecue sauce taste test, and we have special guest Susie Bullock from Hey Grill Hey, hey. who is a barbecue expert. She holds a Guinness World Record for the longest grill, so she's total a barbecue queen here, so she knows what she's talking about. I eat the barbecue. I cook the barbecue. She knows what she's talking about. I smell like barbecue. <laughs> All the time. She always <laughs> smells like barbecue. Time. It's like her perfume. Mm. So today we are testing 11 different sauces. Eight of them are just regular sauces that you can find in most grocery stores, Walmart, Target, across the United States, maybe in some other countries as well. You'll have to let us know in the comments if you're from another country. You will be able to see which ones we are tasting live you'll get to see it but we have no idea this is a complete blind taste test now in addition to those eight regular brands Susie has also supplied us with three competition barbecue sauces yep. you want to tell us a little bit about those so these are not ones that you're typically going to find in your grocery store i actually picked these up from a barbecue like supplier here in utah where we live so maybe you have a would people have barbecue supply stores in their area too yes they're actually really common just a lot of people default to the grocery store. But if you're into grilling, if you're into barbecue, it's worth looking into. They have the best wood. They have all the grills that you could ever dream of. You get to walk around. It's like a kid in a candy store for me. <laughs> and then Barbecue Pit Stop, where I went today, there are two locations in Lehigh. They have an entire wall of rubs and sauces. I've been there and seen it, and it is amazing. It's awesome. It, it really and is. And they'll let you try anything there, too. So if you kind of want to do your own taste test before you buy, a lot of places will. They're willing to let you smell kind of get a little sample of everything. Okay, at the end we will reveal which ones are our favorites. You can hear our comments and see what brand we're tasting as we go along. And then the, at the end, we'll reveal which are our favorites and we'll rank them and we'll talk about the ingredients. Three of these barbecue sauces are made with high fructose corn syrup and the rest are all made with either sugar or brown sugar. So that'll be interesting to see as well. Which store brand do you think is gonna be your favorite? Uh, just based on the ones that I've used in the past, we like Sweet Baby Ray's and Rufus Teague is okay too. Like I like we that one too. We don't have that one in the taste test. Oh, I thought I saw it, a screen of it. No. All right. It's okay. It's fine. Try that it's one okay. next time. It's <laughs> okay. Um, I, I couldn't find it. I went to a few different stores and they didn't yeah. have that. I got ones that were available at all the different stores yeah, yeah. that we went to. But Sweet Baby Ray's is kind of our default. I think that Sweet Baby Ray's is going to be my favorite too. Yeah. So we'll see. There's only one way to find out. All right. We're going to start with number one. Okay. Oh, I got it. My note. I got. We have clipboards. We have a clipboard to take notes. Very as we go professional. Along. We are ready for this. M mucho okay. prepared. Number one. I always worry that they're all gonna taste the same. <laughs> and like I won't be able to tell, but they always taste different. It has like a smoke to it. Yeah, it's a little smoky. It's definitely got a kick of vinegar. Like it's it's tangy. burning. It's burning the roof of my mouth. Just a like little bit. Spicy? Like spicy. Like like there's pepper in it. I see pepper. So you can hold yeah. it up to the light a oh, little yeah. bit. <laughs> Get a little cross section. I can see section. the pepper. I can feel the pepper. Definitely a ketchup, like a tomato based. Yeah. Okay. With some vin Number tangy one. vinegar. Tangy. Smoky. Black pepper. I didn't like that black pepper. Really? Burn. I, I'm a, I love, I love a little bit of heat. I so feel this like is we're going to have to me. come back to number one. We always do. You I always like have to come warm. back to number one mm -hmm. because you need something to compare it to. Now, number two actually looks different. It's a lot thinner. I'm guessing this is one of the competition barbecue sauces. So maybe. And just in general, competition sauces tend to be thinner. They use less thickeners because they're looking for a nice shine. When Ooh. you present at a competition, it is shiny. you want more of a glaze than a sauce. Barbecue competitors don't like thick, sticky sauces that are gummy. They want so this might That's be a I competition like. sauce because this I, is I'm nice guessing, and, thin. and I see a lot of herbs in it too. I can yep. actually see the herbs, and it's really like the color on it is just beautiful, and it's shiny. Look at you can even see Ooh. kind of how it sticks to the back of the spoon. This is much sweeter. 
competition barbecue. I don't know if this is competition or not. Like we said, this is blind. <laughs> we could, you guys could just be laughing at us at home. Ooh, I taste cinnamon. This could cinnamon. be like Heinz and I just don't I even know. I taste cinnamon in here. I do too. It's I much sweeter. Some cinnamon and it's thinner. So, um. I don't get that burn. No. Which I like. Not a lot of spice. But competition sauces also, um, they're not just looking for appearance, but you get one bite to impress a judge. Yeah, Because I'm, I'm a KCBS certified barbecue judge, so I actually eat competition barbecue also. I told you guys, she's <laughs> legit. So you want that one bite of flavor to kind of punch. So it's got to be salty and sweet. Okay, that's leaning heavy towards sweet. Judges love sweet sauces. That's really interesting. Typically sweeter than you'd get, like, from a store-bought sauce. Okay, number three. Thank you. Is thick again. Yep. Ooh, that one has, like, it's almost got little chunks in it. Yeah, it does. Like, I see pepper, or maybe it's pepper, maybe it's herbs. Oh, very different. I do not like I don't this. like it. I do not like this. Okay, a second taste is too much. <laughs> it's almost, it's almost so acidic that it burns. You know what I mean? Like, we've crossed over from, like, tangy vinegar to, like, that acrid, I like... need water after that. I did not <laughs> like that at all. I will never buy that one. Wait, like, way oh, too... Oh, especially in comparison with the other one? Vinegary. Very, very I strong. like a tangy sauce. Like, I, yeah, I, I even too. use straight vinegar sauces sometimes on pork to cut the fat. So maybe this would be decent on a really fatty cut of meat. But independently, like, that... It, Mm -hmm. I can feel the sides of my tongue are like sc scorched. If from I the dipped a chicken nugget in that, I would probably. That's not spit a nugget sauce. No, no, no. It's not a nugget sauce. Okay, number four. That one is really thick. That one is like, I can't even get it to pour out. Thick. Look at I've still got looks soft peaks. This one tastes very. This has to be high fructose corn syrup. I'm going to put that down. I'm guessing that number four is a high fructose. So this one is almost bland to me. It is. It's overly sweet and overly it, salty, but it doesn't offer a ton else in terms of flavor. It tastes processed. Like, very, very processed. I don't like the texture of it. It's almost gummy. Yeah, bad texture. Mmm. I might need to, like, switch spoons after that one because I'm not looking that cool. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to get, <laughs> get a new spoon here. Okay, thick... I'm guessing that that one was a high fructose corn syrup one. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, it was, again. It, was it also sweet, has but... a peppery burn to it. I'm feeling the burn on the roof of my mouth. Yeah. But it tasted really processed. Like that, like at a really cheap, like if I ordered like 20 nuggets for a dollar, <laughs> like that's what I'm going to yeah, be dipping it really in. really thick. If they served that to me in a barbecue restaurant, I'd know it was like dollar day or something. Or it just didn't offer anything other than like the sweet. It didn't offer like, there was no, no body, there was no... Okay, this oh. one's pretty thick too. That one is thick. This one's a little lighter of a color. Oh yeah, it is, huh? Just a little bit. It has a little more it's red like... to it. It's so round number five. If you want to check out what brands we're ta <laughs> testing... You can go to my website, just the stayathomechef.com forward slash live, and I always have my show information there for you if you want to check it out there. This one smells good. Almost I like, like a little one. bit of Worcestershire sauce in here. I can smell, I can smell, I can that? smell that. Oh, I just got this it on my nose. This one is sweet. <laughs> we have, I was I have a little napkin. aggressive with the smelling. Here, have a napkin. We're good. It's fine. You just lick it off We're, This is a serious taste test. There <laughs> might, if, you, if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. I like this one. Also. I like this one, too. It's sweet. It's smooth. Like I, smoky. I like... This one's really smoky. Like yeah. artificial smoke. Like liquid smoke. Yes. I can smoke in there. I definitely like it. It has a little bit of that peppery burn. It's balance of flavor. But I though. feel like this peppery burn, I think this is, one is very similar to number one. Yeah. But I feel like it has less of the peppery burn. It might be the same amount of heat, but I feel like it's carried better. Like yeah. it's not just heat. Like it's ba it's really balanced. It's much more balanced. It's a good balance of it's like feeling tangy better. vinegar, sweet, and heat. Okay. Number six. I like that one. This is my, I'm also guessing that this one is a competition barbecue sauce. 
There are three on our plate that look a little bit different, and this is one of them. It's a much lighter color. It's a little bit thinner. It's not obviously thinner, though, not like number two. This one's two. really red. Can you guys see the color on the bottom of the sauce? Very red. Very red. And I can see whole pieces... A lot of these, there's this one has an interesting smell. Their spices are like blended really small. Yeah. But I can actually see flakes of black pepper in this one. What does this smell like? What does that smell? Chef Boyardee. It does. It smells like That's spaghettios. It, it, it smells, smells like, like spaghettios. Canned tomato sauce. Oh my gosh. That it, was it, right? Yes. It, it smells Chef like Boyardee. Chef Boyardee canned ravioli yep. spaghettios. That's what it smells like. <laughs> That's weird. I'm okay. scared to taste it now. It I does not taste like that way that. at all. <clears throat> I got a little bit of pepper there. Weird. This is very black pepper. It's not very. just like spicy pepper. It's black pepper and tomato. And that's about I it. almost can't even taste the tomato. Really? Yeah, I need to get another taste. It tastes taste like canned tomatoes I think me. I got a whole piece of black pepper and it's just burning. <laughs> it tastes like canned tomato sauce. Canned tomato sauce. Just straight canned tomato sauce. With a bunch of Black pepper, pepper. In it. That's really maybe interesting. Maybe some garlic so and maybe onion. So maybe this isn't a comp- maybe this isn't a competition sauce. I don't know. I mean it looks different, so I thought maybe I'd be able to tell you. I think there's a couple that are thinner, but that's it. Oh, there is okay, there's another Huh. We'll have to see. I don't know. I don't know, but that one was not so good. I don't it know. It was not as bad. It was not as bad as number three. Number three was really bad. I don't know. This this I makes me feel like canned tomatoes, and I don't want the, that. And that's true. Mm. But that acid for number three, that was really bad. That was, that was painful. Okay. Number seven. I'm just writing SpaghettiOs on this one real fast. <laughs> I'm going to put that too. Because, I mean, it tastes like SpaghettiOs with black pepper Spaghetti-os. in it. SpaghettiOs. <laughs> okay, number seven. Can't Sweet. Really, I can't smell Liquid much. smoke. Maybe a little molasses. I see pe- big pieces of pepper in here. Mm-hmm. It's Look very, it's thick very too. thick, very, very thick. Like it does not run at all. Oh, too thick. What is that? What is awful? What is happening to my mouth? Okay. I was. Like, this is chewing, not good. This was like chewing a piece of barbecue sauce gum for a second. Yeah, like very. That just got stuck on my tongue. Super thick. Too Super thick. thick. Uncomfortably thick. And what, what does it taste like? It tastes like... <laughs> that I would... I i don't know. I, I might guess this would be a high fructose corn syrup. I would guess too. Maybe that's... I wonder if that's the pattern here. I'm going to put down. I'm guessing high fructose. Because it's so thick. So I'm going to have my three guesses for high fructose. Oh, I didn't write down my first one. What was my first one? It was number four. Number four. We think this is high fructose. Okay, this one has very strong pepper. Um, I don't mind the pepper, but there's just... Like, there's no balance to it. Very, very thick. I feel like it's just sugar, black pepper. Very gummy. Lots there's of There's no thickeners. real, like... There's no real smoke flavor. There's no real sweet flavor. There's just no... Hmm. There's not a lot of flavor. It offers a lot of heat, like, on the back end. Do you know what I mean? Like, it yeah, just it does. gets spicy. It does. I'm switching spoons. That was not good. I might join you. These thick ones, I gotta switch spoons because I'm not licking them clean. I can't. <laughs> no. All right. All right. This is another Whoa. thin, thin, shiny-looking one. <clears throat> I'm thinking competition. Yes. I would I would agree with you. Lots just of herbs on, in it. This is more I like a see. glaze. I can even see, look at, I got a tiny little mustard seed in there. Oh. Yeah, I can Maybe see Maybe some red pepper pieces. flakes. Yep. It smells very sweet. It this is a competition sauce. I feel like I can smell brown sugar. Yeah. Like it almost smells like Thanksgiving or Christmas. I want to say that there's a little bit of cinnamon in here too. Cinnamon's Ooh. kind of been a thing in competition lately. One of my favorite rubs right now is called Pork Star, and it has cinnamon in it also. Very cinnamon, very different than... These other sauces. I mean, this is Yum. really good. Tell me you would not want that on, like, ribs, like smoked ribs. It's really good. Or some grilled chicken thighs. It's mm. really sweet, but it backs it up with... And with... it has a lot of warm flavors. I think there's more than just cinnamon. I think there's other mm-hmm. things in that same family. Yeah. Like, Ooh, it wouldn't surprise good. me if there was maybe, like, just a hint of cloves. Or, or maybe even some ginger. Yeah. Ginger. Yeah. That family right there. This is good. And it, like, I could it just, just kind of this. smells like... Like, if you were going to have a barbecue Thanksgiving, 
This is what it would smell like. Yep. I want that on a turkey sandwich. Mmm. That would be really good. good. Pickled red onions. Okay, that was number eight. Number eight is yummy. I'm just writing yummy. Yummy. And I'm guessing Smells this is a comp sauce. like Thanksgiving. And it's warm, too. Yeah. But right, I just barely got I don't warm. feel that that burning on the roof of my mouth Mm-mm. like I have. It's like the back these, of your throat. From the, some of these other ones. Like, it's just a warm sensation. It feels nice. Like, I like that's this. a really good, that's a really good barbecue sauce. I like this. Oh, look, I can see a little thing in there. That might be some, like, timer. I think she doesn't want to move on okay. from number okay. eight. I like number eight. That was good. It was really good. Okay, okay number nine. <laughs> We've got another, uh, that one's not even. Can we turn it all the way over? Yeah, this is. It's like a, <clears throat> what a Dairy Queen shake. I'm scared to put this one in my mouth. Like, it does not come out. That's impressive if it's a shake. I like thick shakes. Kind I don't know that I like thick sauce. Kind of. Oh, feeling with my spoon, uh-uh. it feels like gummy. These gummy ones are grossing me out a little. Okay. Ew! <laughs> oh, that's worse. This is the worst. This one's <laughs> the worst. It's not... Mmm. So... Oh, that's mm. bad. I can imagine, like, dipping a nugget in it and not being turned <laughs> off, but just putting it straight in your mouth. That's bad. I feel like I need to taste it again to figure out what's in mm-hmm. there. Because I just swallowed it so fast because I didn't want to taste it anymore. This is bad. I'm just writing down bad. And I'm going to taste it again. Just for the viewers. I feel like what's left in my, like, the taste left in my mouth is not good. It tastes like preservatives? Is that like, can you taste preservatives? Maybe you can't taste preservatives, but it's not pleasant. This is very tastes- unpleasant. Like... Almost chemically, like it tastes like you can taste chemicals. That was, yep, that feels accurate. Um, nine gross, gross, and no. I thank can't you. even taste like pepper or smoke. I couldn't taste flavor. I like it feels like really. Ew, it like feels fake like tomato sauce. Like if you were to have fake ketchup, it feels I, like fake mesquite. Like mesquite is like a really strong wood and the smoke is really strong and it's overpowered. I don't one, li- I'm not I'm just writing that fond fake. Of it it tastes fake. I don't know how to describe that because it doesn't taste like anything real. It seriously just tastes fake. It doesn't taste like food. No, it doesn't. Oh. Okay, we need another sip. Like maybe if you drank that artificial fruit punch so concentrate from the freezer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, almost fruity, but gross fruity. I hope number 10 is really good. I really just want to move on. Number 9. That was... Oh, I just took It doesn't sign. matter. It doesn't matter. 10 looks good. I would, but I would wager it's very a thin. This has got to be a competition's last two. I'm looking forward to that after number 9. That was really, Ooh, smell really this bad. One. Oh. It almost has that same tomato. Like, it's very tomato... It smells like tomato a high-end sp- spaghetti. <laughs> high-end spaghetti. It does. Well, it, feel, it smells like, like it's, real tomatoes. Like it's, oh, it smells like t- like a really nice tomato sauce, actually. Yeah. Not spaghetti like where you have that marinara. Cheap... Almost. Yes. Like Italian tomato. It does. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. It's much more vinegary. It is a thin vinegar sauce. But it's not like... <coughs> <laughs> yes, it is vinegar. I don't feel like it's the <coughs> same... Joking. What was the burning vinegar one that we had? Number three... I might that was it. just acid. <coughs> yeah, it's not like that. <coughs> Don't take my coughing as a bad sign. Number three was like an ugly vinegar. Yeah, this is like a nice vinegar. But it, it, is it tangy. hit the back of my throat a little bit wrong there. I think I swallowed it wrong. You know how that happens. But if you're one that yes. likes that acid, this is that a nice, bright, punchy. It's a nice. I'm writing down nice, this. clean vinegar. I could see this going really well with like super fatty brisket. Like rich smoked brisket to have wonder, kind of a punchy sauce. I kind of wonder if this one is Franklin's. I kind of do too, actually. Franklin's is actually a famous barbecue joint in Austin, Texas, and Susie and I have been there together. You have Before to, it burned down. It burnt down. It burnt down the week of Hurricane Harvey. So if anybody's watching that lives in the area, we're thinking about you because Austin lost Franklin, and Houston and surrounding I might areas cheer up. lost so much. I've been talking about about bringing. The camera shut off because the temperature is too high. 
That happened to me yesterday. Yeah, we can see. Did, switch did to it just webcam? barely shut off? Just barely shut off. We lost camera. We've lost Are our we camera. still live, though? Yeah, we're still live. All right. So we'll we switch the camera. camera. There's uh, another one right there. Sorry, guys. That's the beauty of live. Our camera got too hot. It was us. You can hear me. I do tend to <laughs> was us. put people off with my hotness. It was probably my hot dog pants. It was the hot dog pants. The hot dog pants were too much. They were too much so for anyway, the camera. Franklin, I believe, yeah, they are still planning listening. to rebuild. That is From good, what I have heard. Because that is very a very sad thing to me. Because Franklin's is, like, I did not know what barbecue could be until Susie introduced me to Franklin's. I did make her stand in line for, like, two and a half hours in October in Austin. So that it was it was hot. They provide umbrellas and chairs. Though. It was hot, but we did <clears throat> we did the whole thing. We stood in line. We stood in line. We bought the t-shirt. We bought t-shirts. I still have that t-shirt. I wear it. I wear it fairly we regularly. Ate many meats. And fun fact for our listeners: we maybe we have viewers again. <laughs> our friend, who is another food blogger, Alyssa from the Recipe Critic. I hope I don't embarrass Alyssa because I know that she's probably watching this. She found out she was pregnant. In line. Like, well, like. On yeah, the way. Like five minutes before we got in line for Franklin's barbecue. So Franklin's is a really special place. It is. She that found out she was pregnant with her little girl. And I called um, I called her baby before it was born. I, I called it Jane Austen. because Well, I just called it Austin until she found out it was going to be a girl. And then yeah. I called it Jane Austen because we found out was she was pregnant. our Austin baby. We found out she was pregnant in Austin. I feel like a right part of that Franklin's. baby's life in some way. Yeah. She's was cute. Good, oh, she is cute. Alyssa, we love you. So, <clears throat> now that we have the camera back, sorry about that. Uh-oh. I'm scared of this one again. It's It would fall out. I can't okay, turn that's this good. one over. Uh, that's a good sign, at least. Too thick? I'm not, it turns out I'm not a fan of the super thick ones. Yeah. It seems like the thickeners might add so much well, that it takes away from the flavor. And we've learned that thickness is a bad sign. <laughs> we've been, the, we've had some poor experiences with thick sauces. In the the ones that were the thickest were the worst. This is really smoky. I can smell that. Lots of artificial um, or liquid it also, smoke in here. Molasses? Hmm. Molasses. This one's very mild, kind of bland. This is a mild one. This is like one you could feed your kids. Yeah, my kids would like this. I have no idea which one was Sweet Baby Ray's, by the way. I don't know. And that's what I thought, that's what I use all the time. That's what I thought is my favorite. I'm hoping it's number five, because I like number five. It was good. I mean, this one's good. It's fine. It's just very mild. Not a strong flavor. But I don't like the thickness on it. It's too thick for me. Not as thick as... That's true. Number nine was the worst. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't hate this one. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I'd buy it if... I don't know. It's good. Maybe. It's good. My daughter always complains that things are spicy. She'd like this one. Yeah, this is a good, like, mild... This is a generic kind of... Okay, pleases all palates. Do we need to go back and try some of the beginning ones? I need to just try number one again. So this one is yours. Oh, thank you. Number one, because you always have to go back to number one. I'm making my last notes. Number one tastes better to me now than it did before. Did it? Does it? I didn't hate number one. You said it was too spicy. Have you, like, adjusted to the heat a little bit going I, through all of maybe these? Maybe I hit a piece of black pepper. I like number one. I like number one. Okay. My favorite, though, is going to be ready for yeah, the reveal, right? pretty good. I think I like number one to start with, though. I don't think I yeah. hated number one I all. didn't hate it. It was just, it felt very strong. I like this. I like this better than that one. So if these better are two number store 11, ones, I would definitely choose one over one over number 11. Yeah. But I think, okay, I think number eight is going to be our very favorite. You think so? I think. I'm trying number two again, because number two... Was that super sweet? Super, but super sweet? It does not compare to number eight. Like, go to number eight. <laughs> oh, and look at, you can just see everything in number eight. Number eight is really good. 
Mm-hmm. Number eight think, makes me want to drink it. What would I, I... This was the one that I couldn't put down. Yeah. This was the one that I kept licking. I'm trying to think it if is I really were, good. like, to get a plate of smoked meat, what sauce would I want to go with it? And I kind of like two for different reasons. So I think I would love this one on chicken and pork because I think sweet really complements those meats. I would probably pick number 10 for things like brisket or beef. Yes. Um, just because it's so, such a richer, fattier kind of a thing. And number 10 is vinegary. So we think two, eight, and 10 are a competition. Yeah. I think we so. Think and those two, are my two, eight and 10 are my two favorites. Two, eight, and 10 are probably the competition sauces. Which sauce should we never, ever buy? Oh, nine. Never buy. Blech. Never buy nine. Don't ever buy nine. Don't ever buy seven. Um, number seven, I wrote uncomfortably thick. Yes. It and was unpleasant. And number three was what we said, yeah. Oh, number three was the vinegar. So like nine. The bitter. Nine, seven, and three. I don't know what those were. And even a little All bit we of have four. Our numbers. And maybe four because we said that that one was very It was just bland. thick and sweet. How, it didn't yeah, have anything else. It didn't seem great. So, so I wouldn't buy nine, seven, three, or four. And we thought three and seven had the high fructose corn syrup in it. Nine. And I kind of almost want to say maybe 11. Wait, which one's high fructose? I wrote down four and seven and maybe number 11 because it was that thick. It was bland a little bit. Yeah. It was very generic. Okay. Four, seven, and 11. Oh, yeah. I had seven. Okay. Six was a no-buy for me. Yeah. We're going to add six to the no-buy. Six was, the spaghetti spaghetti no buy. <clears throat> six was so the what, spaghetti So what do we sauce. have left to actually buy? Um, Two, eight, ten. Okay. We have number 11, five, and one. One, five, and 11. Bye. 11. I don't know, it's too It's too Eleven mild. So was one... generic, though. I mean, if you wanted to, like, satisfy kids who didn't like any flavor or heat, like, 11 is fine. So our best, <clears throat> we think, are store brands. We could be wrong. We're about to find out, though, are yeah. one and five. Let's get the reveal here. Yeah, I did like I five. I need the paper. We need the paper for the reveal, and then we'll get the entire tray going so that we can... Here, I'm going to... See what we just put in our faces? Okay. So... The competition, okay, number one was Bullseye Barbecue. Ah. Surprise. Number two, which we thought was competition, was Swamp Boys. Yay! And that was a good one. I liked that one. Number three is our Never Buy, Famous Dave's. Oh, my gosh. I'm not surprised. Are you surprised? Well, like, it's Famous Dave's. Yeah, Like, people love that. I guess. (gasps) Number four that we thought was bland was Sweet Baby Ray's. But we didn't hate it. Well, we put it on we maybe just, never buy. It does wasn't sweet anything. baby rays have high fructose corn syrup? It does. Yeah. Hey, high five for palates. We tasted that. Okay, so <clears> another <throat> right. Number five is craft. Did we like five? Our best were one and five that we wow. have left. Wow. So bullseye, I'm, I'm bullseye and craft. I am legitimately surprised I, that we. I like actually number almost five. didn't buy craft because I was like, well, I don't want to embarrass craft, like. We work with these brands, and I didn't. Yeah, we I don't. Do. I really don't want to embarrass a brand, but this is a really interesting test. Okay, number six that tasted like SpaghettiOs is Stubbs, huh? And then ironically, number seven, which is Heinz, I would think Heinz would be the one that tasted like SpaghettiOs. Ketchupy. Yeah. Um, that was un. That was the super thick. Yeah. That was the super. It was super thick, thick, uncomfortably Does thick. Does that one have high fructose? Heinz. Heinz? We need we need the we bottles. Need bottle. Let's have the bottles brought over while we go through the rest. Number eight, which we thought was competition, was Blues Hog. Yeah, that is one of the winning. And I love that one. I love it. They sell it in gallon jugs, which I wanted to drink it. Yeah. So that would make sense. Let's let's get all of our bottles because we need to be able to see what what which ones had high fructose corn syrup. Because did number seven, so does Heinz. Let's get Heinz up here. Where is Heinz? And this one. Ah. Classic barbecue stuff. It's called sweet and thick. <gasps> At least it's advertised right. yeah, as thick, so you know what you're getting. I bought all the ones that were classic <clears throat> or original labeled. It has cane sugar, though. Oh. We were wrong. We were wrong about that one. And molasses. I mean, honestly, the ingredients on this one look pretty good. Sugar, vinegar, tomato paste, blackstrap molasses. But it does have cornstarch, so it's quite... Maybe that's what makes it so thick. Do you know which one? I just search. I just cheated and looked ahead. Do you know which one was the bad fake one? Of all of these, the one we didn't like. Jack. Daniels. Jack Daniels, folks. 
We hated it. That really, that surprises me. Number nine. Like, we wrote down bad and fake. I wrote gross, no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wrote in wow. my notes. I thought, because I was like, oh, we'll get some Jack Daniels, get some nicer stuff in here. Yeah, the ingredients. Well, look, it's manufactured by Kraft. Heinz. Kraft and Heinz, they're all the same company. Interesting. So Kraft, we liked. They had a great one. we hated. And Jack Daniels, we hated. So they're two for three. So if you're going to go with the Kraft family, we're going to go with actual Kraft. Where's the Kraft? Kraft original. Who would have thought, especially the way it's bottled, I'm like, so if you compare disappointed. these two, like... I'm kind of, like, disappointed in myself a little, but I right? mean, it was a blind taste test. But, like, I'd buy this one because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to buy the craft. But craft, solid. Way better. Solid performance. Way better. This was... I legitimately wrote no thank you. That's, it was I thought not this good. was not great. You, you can go back and see our faces. We were legit on that. Okay, this number so 10. interesting to me. Which we also thought was competition was Franklin, and, and we that did, was the one we liked. We thought it was. It. We thought it was Franklin. It just reminded me of eating at Franklin's. Well, th- I want this with brisket. Yeah, I it's want this to be good. Brisket. Okay, number eleven, which is the one, the other one that we enjoyed, was Casey masterpiece. That was the. It was kind of generic. Well, but no, it was mild. Yeah, I would say that. Oh, no, it was one and five were the best. What was number yeah. five? I mean, Kraft 11 and, we oh, said. Oh, it was Kraft and Bullseye. 11 was generic. It was okay, like, for kids. Like, we'd buy it if we had people that didn't like any heat or a lot of flavor. Here's our two favorites. Of, of the store-bought, the competition one. I, I'm, they personally, won. I might be biased, but, like, all three of the competition ones are still better than the two store-bought ones. They are. All three of them are better, hands down. So, go to a local barbecue Order them on store. Amazon, even. Maybe you Those could, are maybe worth we it. we could grab some links on we, Amazon we will to put share some with you guys. links on, on my website. But, but these two, if you're going to go for store-bought, regular grocery store convenience, these are the two. Yeah. That our barbecue expert, the stay-at-home chef, this is what we like. And these were blind taste tests. We had no idea what was on. I seriously, I almost didn't even buy this because I was like, oh, come on. Is that even barbecue sauce? I kind of want to see the ingredients. I thought for sure that Sweet Baby Ray's would be the winner. Oh my gosh, look. What? Bullseye has high fructose corn syrup. Oh. So if you want to go for, uh, if you care about high fructose corn syrup, you better buy the Kraft. It has no high fructose corn syrup. And it actually said that on the little, the top of the bottle here. So if you're, if, if you're going for no high fructose corn syrup, this is your winner. If you don't care. You can also but buy look bullseye. at real quick. So look at the back of. Read me the number one ingredient in craft. Sugar. Okay, these are our competition bottles. Number one ingredient in these guys. Um, we are two. This one is tomato ketchup. So this is a ketchup base. This one is tomato paste, and blues hog, which was our favorite, is brown sugar. Is the first. And this one interesting. Has it was sweet. It was very sweet. And apple cider vinegar. And it was really sweet. This was probably the sweetest one. Very, very interesting. But I, I'm still just shocked. I'm a little like, bit. I'm really shocked. My husband's going to die. Because he, like, he thinks that craft anything is, like, the worst. So I might, I might buy it and just this is use why it we and not do, This is why we do blind taste tests. Because you have ideas in your head about you what think, a certain brand tastes like. You think that you love Sweet Baby Ray's. Which, okay, clearly I buy the large bottle of a yeah. Sweet Baby Ray's because I think that's what I like. But apparently what I like it's is craft. Good old craft. Very interesting. Thank Stirring you. into some mac and cheese. Thank you so much for watching our live today. Thank you to Susie for coming on as our special guest. You should check out her website, heygrillhey.com. You'll never forget it because it's like, hey, girl, hey. <laughs> but with grill in the middle. But with grilling because she's our grilling expert. I have made quite a few recipes from your website, actually, and we are blown away every time. Thank like, you. And we always make it for guests. I don't know why that is, but I'm always making because Susie's recipes for guests. Here's the deal about barbecue and grilling. Like, it is so much about that family, unity, experience, memories. Like, it's comfort food, like, to the max. And when you're serving people, like, nothing's more impressive than a big slab of ribs or a huge chunk of sliced brisket. Like, you just can't beat it. You can't. It's so good. Please check out her website. It's amazing. Subscribe to her on YouTube. She's coming out with a a new show. This week is going to be our first video, actually. Oh, my gosh. So, join that. 
Um, like her Facebook page. You can go on her Facebook page today. Give her a like. She has tons. Whenever I share <laughs> Susie's videos on my Facebook page, The Stay at Home Chef, they go crazy. I know that my followers love Susie's stuff, and I don't blame them because I love Susie's stuff too. I'm one of her biggest fans. Aww. And I have been for a long time. So check her out. Join us next week. We will be definitely doing more taste tests in the future. I have some really fun ones lined up for you. So make sure that you subscribe and like and all that fun stuff and keep following along. You can always check out what lives I have coming up on my website, thestayathomechef.com slash live. If you forget that for some reason, just go to stayathomechef.com and then the top, it says live and just click on that in case you forget that you're looking for live. I tried to make it easy. It'll get you there. So you can always look and see what was from today's show. You can see what, what ones we tested, and I'll update it with which ones we like the best yeah. and all that And add links so people can kind of have yes. access to these that we might will, not be in store. We will add links to those competition barbecue sauces because they were really, like, a wow here. you got to try them at least once. You do. That's why I brought them because, like, I wanted to see, I wanted people to see our reactions to, like, these true barbecue flavors. Because once you start mass producing and putting them in grocery stores, I think you lose some. You do. I mean, you do. <clears throat> and that's okay. But... They're but awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for joining us. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section and we'll get back to them later. Thanks for watching. See you later.